All right, well, how's it, team? Welcome to another Crispy Kiwi adventure. Crispy Kiwis and Sun. <laughs> so I'm here with Brax. We are, yeah, at a public foster king spot on our Big West Coast trip. And I've got the bazooka in. So that's all, uh, all set up now, sitting pretty right. I'm gonna just dig into here. There's moss on those rocks, so yeah. Just gonna have a play. I've got a couple of hours while we're camping here, so if we see a couple of flakes, I'll be pretty happy, but I'm not expecting too much. We're just here to have a bit of fun, aren't we, mate? Yeah. Alrighty, let's all crack into it. Wish us luck. <laughs> That's a huge one, isn't it, bro? Yeah. I want to <laughs> No, we'll let it be. Alrighty guys, so my dad just came down, got the sluice running, getting a wee bit of depth in my hole already and I thought I'd do a test pan, I've done, put one bucket through the sluice already, I'm about halfway through that bucket, I thought I'd do a quick test pan, just to see if any gold was in the hole, just to see if I could show my old man any gold, and look at this, for two half shovel lots, I've got a piece there, there's a piece just down in here, there's another little fly poopy bit up here, another bit here. So there's four decent sized bits in there that I can actually see quite clearly. So I know I'm on the goal. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's just there, like I say, two two half scoops with the, with the shovel. So I'm going to keep cracking at this spot and see if I can get four or five buckets out before it gets too dark. Let's see what we get. Alrighty. Beautiful little spot too. It's got a clay like um clay like base. It's not bedrock but it's clay. So I don't know whether or not I'll hit it where I'm digging, but yeah. Certainly getting a bit of flood gold.
come down. been fun. Sluice has been working sweet. I've dug a pretty decent, oh look at that puku, <laughs> pretty decent hole. Um, it's actually only about, what is it, probably only about a couple of foot deep to the actual, to that clay layer, to this stuff here. Um, so I've gone down to that, it's really nice gravels. The only problem is, is I feel I've brought the wrong sluice and I should have brought my A51 with the um, decent riffles in it. At the moment, I'm running the bazooka. I don't know how, there's so much fine gold going. I can, I can see it running down the, running down the, um, the sluice. Whether or not it's dropping into that fluid bed and staying there or whether it's passing right through, I don't know. It's very, very fine gold. Um, so, I'm just, I may not have anything in there. I've seen a couple of decent sized bits. And when I say decent bits, we're talking tiny wee bits of flakes, but I have seen the odd one walk down there. So I might have a couple of bits in there, but I'm just, I don't know if all the fine gold's gonna be getting caught. Um, I'm gonna go one more bucket. This will be my fifth bucket. Um, I've got terrible sciatic pain in my back at the moment. I've had it for about two or three weeks now and it's absolutely killing me. So I'm gonna do one more bucket. It's gonna be five buckets in total going through the sluice. Um, to me, it's a great indicator of what gold is here, but obviously it's very fine flood gold. You don't have to dig too deep for it, but yeah, you need a sluice that's gonna catch it. So I think you either need um, the, um, you need a, a, a decent gold map of some sort, I think, I don't know if this is going to catch it. 
I've seen it and I can see it and I can see it going in there. Whether or not it stayed in there, I won't know until the cleanup. But we're gonna go one more bucket, guys. One more bucket into that hole. Um, I've gone right under that rock now, so, um, and that seems to be where a lot of that fine gold's coming from. So I'll do one more big bucket out of there, trottle off back down to the uh, motorhome, and I will probably, I don't know, we'll see. I might pan out here actually if I've got time, if it's not too dark. Otherwise, I'll pan out back at the, uh, back at the camper. But the rain's held off, been absolutely real lucky as you can see, I'm down to my singlet, so beautiful weather. And hey, look at the scenery, where would you rather be? So yeah, one more bucket and we'll show you the clean up. Oh, how's it guys? And yes, I have gold in the pan. Now, it doesn't look like much and I do understand it's not a lot. But the flip side is, is that is only five buckets. Okay, five buckets from that hole. Um, I don't think I was catching the super fine stuff. But... Good night. That's a fair amount. I am pretty happy with that. Um, 
I mean, any gold in the pan is always good. And I know that's probably maybe not even 0.1 of a gram. But it shows there is wicked potential here uh, for a slightly better setup. <laughs> Definitely not the bazooka. And um, yeah, just work your way along that, uh, that flood gold layer. So I'm stoked. Bit of gold in the pan. <laughs> yeah, look at that. A few little good flakes there. But it all adds up. So I'm stoked. I'm happy. And I am going to wander back down now and have some dinner. Alrighty guys, we'll catch you on the next one. And don't forget guys, until the next one, happy hunting.